Hi there. One thing I get asked all the time is how I go about doing the shading on my portraits. So I thought I would put together a quick video that just demonstrates my process. Now there's nothing complicated about it, it's pretty straightforward, but I think sometimes you need to demonstrate something rather than talk somebody through it. Um, so I thought, hope this short video will help get uh, the process across. Now I don't use any fancy brushes or anything like that or any mixing brushes or blending brushes or anything like that. Um, it's like I say, it's all pretty straightforward. So what I have in front of me is two layers to start me off. I have a background layer and then I've just got a basic sphere or a, a flat circle on the first layer. So I know that I'm going to be shading on the circle itself and nowhere else. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to create a new layer, then I'm going to hold down Alt and turn that into a clipping mask and select the layer with the circle on. So that's going to restrict anything I paint to the layer below. So I don't have any sort of set way that I choose to paint. I don't say always start with the lighter tones or always start with shadows. I just depends on what I'm painting and what I feel like painting. But down here I've got a soft brush. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to select white for now, make the soft brush quite large and I'm just going to gradually start painting over the circle here. Now I know, I'm just going to turn the smoothing off, I know that the light is coming in, let's just create a new layer. So the light's going to be coming in this direction. We're also going to have a light coming from the front, so we'll probably have a highlight here or something like that. So we've got sort of a side light, we'll have a highlight here where the light's coming from the front. And that means that this area under here is going to be in, in shadow. And we're probably going to have something like a, a shadow here. So that's just a rough guide so we know sort of where we're coming from. So if I go back to my soft brush, just make that bigger. At the moment I'm just blocking in the, the shades. As you can see, we're already starting to get a bit of a 3D effect just by adding some white onto this. Then I'll just make the brush a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to add a bit of an accent around the edge here because we know we've got a light coming from the sort of the back area or from the side. And this is just using exactly the same brush. And if, you, if you're not sure about how to paint the lighting on something, just get some reference. So I've added in a few uh, lighter tones there. So I'm just going to create another layer. And I'm going to create another clipping mask. So holding Alt and selecting the layer below. Now I've selected this layer with our lighting on. Because then it's going to affect, both of those will affect the circle. So now I'm just going to go to black. And I'm going to darken down the opposite side. And again, just using this one brush. And if you're interested in these brushes, uh, you can download them from, um, I have a cube brush page that you can get them from, or an art station page. Uh, you can download them from there. Um, I have a store. And because we're using the soft brush, we're getting some nice sort of blending already thrown in. We don't have to worry about uh, having to uh, go in and blend it ourselves. Just using very light strokes just to get across that this side is darker. You know, it's very simple. Now what I normally do is when I'm happy I will then merge that down and then I will merge that down onto the circle layer and that is just personal preference. You don't have to do that. So now I'm still using black, but I'm going to go in and I'm just going to make 
a harsher sort of uh, we have we have the main shadow here but we want sort of a core shadow which is darker so I'm just going to press on a bit dark uh, a bit harder with the soft brush again and maybe this comes around here and we've got this core shadow because we've also got some reflected light coming under here so you have we've got an area in the middle which is darker And obviously I'm only doing this in black and white, but you, you can use it, do any sort of colours with this. And I'm pressing on quite heavily, but the thing is I know that I can now go in. Even if I've uh, done, gone too far, now I can go in with my eraser, because it's on a separate layer. I can just make that bigger, still using the same brush. And just pull it back a bit. You know, if I've gone too far, just take some off the top here. And I'm always looking in the navigator here just to make sure things look good from a sort of a zoomed out perspective because you've, you're always close in here working on this. It's always good to have a, a, a view of the picture of a, as a whole. And looking at the navigator, I can see that it's maybe a bit touch too dark. So again, add another layer. <clears throat> and I'm going to go back to white. And I think this area here is looking a bit flat now. We've added in this shadow. So I can come in and just start to work in a bit more of a highlight. Like so. Like I say, if you're on another layer, don't be afraid to go too far because you can always pull it back with the eraser. And while we've got that there, while I'm using white even, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to start and just add in a little bit of the reflected light. So this is the light that's just bouncing up off the floor. You know, just creating sort of an accent. And again, just looking at the navigator, I can see that's looking quite good. So again, I'm happy, so I'm just going to merge that down, merge that down. And if, if it makes you feel more comfortable, just keep adding more layers. You don't have to keep flattening it down. That's just my personal preference. So that is... I mean, that's very rough and I'll do some more work on it, but that's just getting across my process for shading. I use this soft brush, add in the tones, use the eraser to pull them back if I need to and soften the edges. But what if we want to add in sort of a harder edge? So now I go in with a, a harder brush. So if we look at our rough, so we know we want the highlight around here somewhere. So I've got my new layer. <clears throat> All I do is using a harder brush. Let's just paint this in here. So we've got our highlight here. And this is what I normally do if I need to create sort of a crease. You know, if I'm painting somebody with defined cheekbones, I'll use a harder brush, which will give me the nice hard edge, but then I can go in with the eraser again and just soften that back. So we're getting a reflection there, but it's got, we've got the hard edge and then it blends into the rest of the circle. So I've got that there, but I'm also going to come in and just use a soft brush again. Just going to add a bit more of a highlight around this edge. And just to help things stand out at the back here, I'm just going to put in a quick shadow. And to do that, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to duplicate. So that's just 
disable that. I'm going to duplicate the sphere and I'm just going to transform it. So maybe put it something like that. I'm just going to make this darker. And then filter blur, soften the edges, although what we want is for it to be a bit sharper near the sphere itself. So I'm just going to use the eraser and get rid of some. Because the shadow will be darker the closer to the sphere it is. Now I've maybe pulled it back a bit too much. Adjust the adjust the shape. That's it. And obviously we, what we would want is we'd want this area here to be a lot more blurred, but uh, this is just focusing on shading, but just remove a bit more of that edge there, just to fade it out a little bit. But yeah, that's my very basic uh, sort of pro process when it comes to shading. Now with this being the highlight, I'm gonna keep that layer uh, separate because I don't want to accidentally paint over that. I want the ability to be able to paint underneath it. So now I've got these basic shades in and I've got, now I've got the shadow in, I can see that this area under here is too light now. So I'm going to go back to black and then I can come in and I'm just going to darken this down. Because now we've got that contrast between the darkness of the shadow and the bottom of this, uh, the sphere can see that it needs to be a lot darker. Just not forgetting about the reflected light. I can even push the contrast a bit more and uh, make this core shadow a bit darker. soften this around here a little bit. So once I've uh, added in uh, a few different shades I can then go in and start hold down alt and just pick colors or shit or tones from the actual uh, sphere itself. So I know I want this area to be a bit lighter. This sort of arc around here isn't right so just gonna pull that back a little bit. And again, I'm just using the same brush. So this, like I said, there's nothing really complicated. If you're not sure, use reference. And just experiment. It's all about how lightly you're putting down the tones. You don't have to always press on really hard. You know, if you're using a device which has good pressure sensitivity, you know, you can get really light tones in there just by drawing on really lightly. So darken down this a little bit more.
But I think you get the idea. Maybe add a bit more of a highlight. Again, just use the hard brush. Merge that down. So we've got the highlight on a separate layer there. So I'm just going to add another layer. In fact, I'm going to get rid of that highlight because it's not really working with that hard edge. I just wanted to add that in just to show how you could sort of shade using creases. Whereas a highlight like this probably wants to be more circular. Now then just soften the edges using the eraser. And then we'll just use a soft brush. Just go around this edge again. Just to pick out that edge. We'll maybe just brighten up the sphere. But yeah, I could probably spend another, you know, half an hour or so playing around with this and tidying it up. But that just gets across my basic process for those of the people out there that have been asking. So I hope this has uh, been useful. Um, if you've got any sort of tutorial preferences, let me know and I will try my best to accommodate you. I'll record some uh, some new tutorials. Um, if you do want a more in-depth tutorial covering uh, skin painting, I have those available. You can find some videos on my YouTube channel um, and I have them available on my Cube Brush account that you can download. I've also got a hair painting tutorial on there as well. Uh, but I'm happy to do some sort of short videos uh, to uh, upload to YouTube for free. So the only thing that the edge of this is looking a bit too crisp, so I'm just going to go in and soften it with the blur tool. Then we can try and soften the shadow a little bit more there. But that's basically it. And like I say, I could spend a lot more time on this just refining the shades and the shadows, but I hope that's got across my basic technique. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it and also subscribe because I'm planning to do a lot more tutorials uh, in the future, which I will upload to YouTube. But for now, I'm just going to carry on tinkering with this and I will see you on the next video.